day to your viewers and listeners. I'm your host, Jamie Fournier. Come and join me for episode 11 of VXI Conversation Season 2. In the previous episode, we determined if we are on the right career track. Through that conversation, we hope that we've been able to help our followers, especially those who are currently thinking their professional decisions over. Today, we'll talk about the factors to consider if you are mulling over quitting your current job. Because let's face it, resigning from a job is never an easy thing. So if you do decide to go through with your decision, it has to be final and from the heart, right? Please welcome to the show Talent Acquisition Manager, Casey Aulis, and Talent Acquisition Specialist, Morich Makatangay. Hi, Mao. Hi, Casey. Hi, Hi Jamie. Lovely Good energy. Morning. Good morning to both of you. How are you doing? Good morning, Jamie. I'm doing great. I love the Same. office, Mao. You look <laughs> fabulous. I'm glad you both are doing great. I'm I'm glad that you both have time to be with us today. I'm really excited to ask some questions to be able to help our listeners and viewers out there who are going through these thoughts. But before we dive into our topic for today, kindly introduce yourselves and talk about your experience in the BPO industry, especially in VXI. Let's start with Mao. Hi, Jamie. Good day. And hello also to all our viewers and listeners out there. My name is Marich, but my friends call me Mao. I've been working in the industry for almost three years now. I actually started as an intern here, and right after I graduated from college, I decided to work here in the company where I had my internship with. So I started as a talent acquisition associate, and now I am working as a specialist supporting Mall of Asia side. What a journey from being an intern to being now officially part of VXI. Thank you for sharing that, Mao. What about you, Casey? Can you share with us your experience in the BPO in industry? Again, introduce yourself and talk about your experience in VXI too. Hi, um, everyone. My name is Casey. I've been in the BPO industry since 2012. 10 years almost um in vxi specifically i will turn seven years in december so that's that's a, a christmas gift i guess i guess it's nice. I've, I've been in the company for a long time i started as a talent acquisition officer and then was recently promoted so there you go right within topic <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. <laughs> I know there is growth. I right. keep saying it. And the guests of VXI Conversations keep saying it. There's really growth within VXI. So thank you again for sharing your experience. Congratulations again, Casey, thank for you. the promotion. And advanced congratulations for the seven-year anniversary in December. A Christmas gift indeed. So, you know, three years for Mao, seven years for KC. You've both been working for a while now. Was there ever a time when you thought of quitting your job but didn't push through with it? Let's start off with Mao. Mao, I know it's it's been three years only with BXI, but within that time, did you ever think about quitting? Yes, definitely, Jamie. And to be honest with you, uh, there were lots of times when I thought of quitting my job. I, I think it's a human nature to get tired and be drained, especially if you mm -hmm. think that you are just doing a specific task all over and over again. And mm -hmm. I think I am in this age wherein there will be countless times wherein you'll be questioning yourself if you are still doing what you want or if you are on the right path or if this is the right job for you. A few, few years mm -hmm. back, I can definitely say, Jamie, that somehow I felt lost and unsure. Mm -hmm. I love the honesty. And I love that because I'm sure so many of our viewers and listeners can relate to that. I can relate to it. It's human nature. There are times when we get tired, but the question is, what do we really do about it? Do we think about it thoroughly or do we just push through with quitting during that time when we feel like oh i just want to stop and that is what we'll really discuss today but what about kc i mean since 2012 kc you've been working in the bpo industry and almost seven years in vxi during the whole collective years of working in this industry did you ever think of quitting i i have actually mm -hmm. uh, like what mao said it's it's human nature um when we start 
to feel tired, your first thought is to quit. But that's, mm-hmm. that's not really an option. Um, because um, quitting is against my um, how would I say that? It's it's against my priorities, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, what mattered at that time when I was thinking about quitting is that I can't I can't stop because I'm mm. supporting other people. So I just have to push through and you know just continue with what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. So it goes back to knowing your priorities and knowing right. whether or not where you are is supporting that. It's really about what motivates an individual, right? So I guess that's why this topic is so important. We need to be able to think through these thoughts and make the right decision. We said it when we kicked off this podcast. It's final. So it has to be the right decision. Now, one of the reasons people resign from a company is its unhealthy work environment. What are your thoughts around this now that you're a part of VXI Philippines? Let's start off with Mao. Um, if your company has bad communication methods, then you are most likely in a toxic environment that's going to get worse over time. I think, mm-hmm. Jamie, I'm just so blessed to have leaders and um, managers who keep on motivating me. Um, not just mm-hmm. me, but the team to work together in um, achieving a shared goal. And here in VXI, uh, we make sure to have um, employee engagement by creating mm-hmm. positive workplaces, offering um, comprehensive trainings and career development and advancement opportunities. Investment in the people is really in place. And you're not the first one to say that, Mao. So many of our guests here have shared that. Casey, what about you? What are your thoughts on an unhealthy work environment now that you're part of VXI? Well, um, no matter how easy or difficult your job is if your mindset is that your work environment is is difficult you would also think the same so i Mm. guess what matters here is the proper mindset if you think that the workload is quite heavy you adjust specific things just to make sure that you adapt to it Mm -hmm. but like now i'm also blessed with leaders who are supportive and nurturing um in cases where i think that the workload is too much i would always ask for coaching so that's that's one thing that i've really how would i say that um that's that's one thing that i i always ask from my leaders mm-hmm. ask for coaching so mm-hmm. if if i start to think that i want to quit I'd reach out to my immediate supervisors and then get their thoughts so I can adjust whatever it is I need to adjust just so I can push through with what I need to do. I love that the environment is so open and honest, wherein case you can reach out to your leaders and say, I'm feeling this way right now. So I want to change this mindset and these emotions for me to be able to still deliver the best of me. I love that. And it's also a great perspective, what you mentioned, Casey, wherein you said it will always be a toxic, unhealthy work environment if the way you're thinking about it is also toxic. So that's a different way of looking at it. It's also internalizing and changing the way you see it. So thank you for sharing that. Now, Let's move on to our next question here. Mao, you mentioned earlier that it's human nature. Sometimes when you do something over and over again, you get tired. So others would say that one of their reasons is they've been stuck in a role for so long that they feel like they're going through the same thing over and over again. And that's why they decide to leave. Was this something you experienced before, Mao? You mentioned it earlier. And also, Casey, you can share your thoughts around it. And what did you do during this situation? Because obviously, Mao, you're still there. You felt that in the past and you decided to stay. So how did you overcome that situation? I still remember, Jamie, um, the time when I asked myself, after five to ten years, do I still see myself doing the same thing I do now? Um, Where am I going to go? Because there was a point in my life, Jamie, wherein I got exhausted from doing Mm. the same thing every day. But then I realized that uh, this job is one of the reasons why my family can get 
or can eat at least three times a day. And through this Aww. job, I can buy whatever I want. And then mm-hmm. when I went back um, to my first day in VXI, we're in, my goal was just to learn and enjoy mm-hmm. what I'm doing. I, I realized that sometimes you don't have to go out to look for greener grass because sometimes you have to water the grass you have. I love that. The grass is greener where you water it. Thank exactly. you, Mao. And I'm glad you decided to stay. It it goes back to what Casey mentioned earlier too, right? Really mm-hmm. just know your motivation and what pushes you. Because you mentioned, you remembered that this is the reason you're able to also give to your family and sustain the life you're living right now. What about you, Casey? I mean, mm-hmm. since 2012, that's a long time. A long I don't want to do the math right. anymore. I know you mentioned seven <laughs> years in VXI. Well, right. 10 years. <laughs> but anyway, uh, was there ever a time, because I know you've been in the talent acquisition department for a long time. Was there ever yes. a time when you felt like, oh, this is the same thing over and over again? And what were you going through during that time? What were your thoughts around that? Well, um, one thing I actually learned about growth, it's not always going upwards. I mean, you don't grow to the top. There is vertical growth. So Hmm. we can check and see. I'm I'm a big fan of coaching. I, I ask my immediate supervisors, this is what I want. This is the thing that I'm skill wise, I don't know how to do. So I would always ask, what can I do better? In that Mm -hmm. particular sense, if you want to know what you want to do better, you're already growing. Probably you're doing the same thing, but you're you're doing it differently this time. We all have areas for improvement. Um, The thing is, you're still growing, no matter Mm. how small the change in, in your action items are. Um, I guess if you don't see opportunities for growth, like moving into a higher position, check and see if you can grow vertically. So we can check, hey, um, another department, this is what you're doing. I'd like to learn what you're doing so I can, you know, um, upskill myself per se. But Mm -hmm. that's how I I teach my, that's the mindset I try to teach the the recruiters I, I mentor. Mm. Growth is not always a higher position. It's it's learning things differently. Is it, like what I said, you have to excite yourself, right? Because it's mm. it's in the mindset. We there are days that are so bleak, they're so repetitive. It, all mm-hmm. of our tasks are repetitive. It's just a matter of how you manage what you're doing. So that's that's my opinion. There, it's. Sometimes there are growth vertically. So there. I think that's a, you're full of wisdom, Casey. That's that's great yeah. to impart on those you mentor and also those who are listening in right now. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that you'll take value of that because it is true. Sometimes the growth isn't uh, all about a promotion, but right. sometimes it's about where you are now and pushing yourself, taking charge of your learning. We talked about this in a previous episode, by the way, but taking charge of your learning and knowing that there's continuous growth, even within that specific role you've been in. Now, let's zoom in on the pandemic. It's been two years and counting. We are still very much in the midst of COVID-19, although we're in a better situation now. But during the pandemic, Mao and KC, many companies have closed shop, prompting a lot of people to resign as well due to instability. Now, how was the situation in VXI when the pandemic hit? I believe this was late December 2019, early 2020. What was it like in VXI? Let's start with Mao. I still remember, Jamie, uh, the time when pandemic hit us. So um, mm-hmm. we were actually working here on site back then. I was supporting Bridgetown. And then mm-hmm. um, it came to my attention that we needed to go home already because mm-hmm. of the lockdown. So a good thing about that is that we, although we 
were hit by the pandemic. Uh, we still had a job back then. Uh, VXI offered shuttle service for those folks who wanted to work on site and um, VXI offered accommodation as well. There was a choice as well wherein folks can work from home. So mm. they are. Wonderful. It, opportunities kept growing, right? Even amidst the pandemic. Casey, do you have anything to add for you? What was the situation like within VXI during the last two years or when the pandemic I, hit? I recall uh, VXI offering the early payout for the 13th month pay, um, including the leave conversion. That definitely supported um, me specifically, if I was not able to get that money, I wouldn't be able to pay for the bills that I had at that time. I was very thankful that I still kept my job despite different companies like closing shop. We were given options of going on site or working at home. It was difficult, definitely, but there were options at that time. We were given support. Um mm we did not lose our jobs that's that's what's important um we kept going yes you kept going and thriving and support was right. in place i think it is really true in vxi passion for people is really there and investment in people i remember a discussion with one of our guests wherein he mentioned that safety was the first priority during, yes. especially during the beginning of the pandemic, and of course, up until now. Let's go back to the reasons, though, of resigning from a job, because that's what our main topic is today, talking about what to think about when someone is in this situation. Another, another reason some people would cite is differences in values. And that is what prompts them to say, it's enough. I can't anymore. What can you say about this? This time around, let's start with KC. Well, um, the, the main reason I decided to, I was mulling over, um, resigning before. It's because I didn't have enough compensation. Uh, to be honest, um, I support mm -hmm. the family. I'm the only one who's working. I need money to support mm -hmm. my family. But the like I said, um, the coaching I get, that's that's one thing I, I cannot let go of. I, I'm sure there are companies who would offer more than what I'm getting right now. But the assurance of getting the leaders that I have right now. That's that's one thing I cannot promise myself that I will find in, in a different company. But that's that's one thing. There are so many reasons for one person to say that they want to quit. Then again, mm -hmm. what I would always remind the recruiters who have spoken to me about their plans of resigning is just to go back to their main reason why they started to work in VXI in the first place. Because that would remind us that, hey, um, I have the job that feeds my family. I have a job that supports my career. That's one thing that we can inform, I guess, our recruiters or our peers. Mm -hmm. but if you're trying to, if you're mulling over leaving the company, then, you know, we go back to the reason why we started working for the company in the first place, because that would help our decision in staying. Mm -hmm. So there. Go back to your why. Mm -hmm. Mao? Correct. What about you? What can you say about I think, this? Mm -hmm. I think, Shim, it's really important that your values are aligned with the company that you're working with. Just to share with you, um, last September 2021, I decided to resign here in VXI. I mm -hmm. looked for a greener pasture outside VXI as a recruiter. Mm -hmm. So I am just so blessed and I'm so glad that my leader still accepted me. So I decided to go back March oh. of this year. So mm -hmm. there, I think it's really important for you to have uh, leaders that keep on motivating you, that keep on supporting you um, no matter mm -hmm. what happens. And there, VXI has been 
giving me a lot of opportunities for my career and for my personal growth. So they are. I didn't know that, Mao, and thank you for sharing that. You chose to come back. And I take it that the reason you chose to come back is what you mentioned after stating that you left is you have leaders who continue to give you opportunities and continue to support you. And again, I hate to sound like a broken record. That's something I hear on this podcast again and again and again. It is truly present. The environment is so nourishing for the employees' career paths. And there's so many opportunities out there. So thank you again, Mao, and thank you, Casey, for going over these common reasons why employees out there think about leaving or resigning from their jobs. I hope we've helped you in one way or another through Casey's and Mao's answers today. Before you hand in that resignation letter, Fight the impulse and think twice. Carefully consider the pros and the cons before you make a life-changing decision. Like both Mao and Casey shared today, go back to your why. Go back to your motivation. Go back to why you decided to start working in the company you're in. Casey and Mao, thank you so much for being with us today and for sharing your professional inputs to our or with our dear followers and listeners and viewers out there. Before you wrap up today's episode, do you have a message for those who are going through the same situation as what we've discussed today? Let's start with Mao. Uh, thank you so much, Jamie, for having us today. Um, to all our listeners and viewers out there, I know that there will be lots of times wherein you'll get tired of what you're doing, but I think my takeaway from this conversation or this discussion is that um, you really have to go back to your deepest whys and to your main core whenever you feel tired, whenever you feel drained with what you're doing. And then from there, you will realize that you're still blessed, especially if you are working with those people who keep on supporting and motivating you. Thank you, Mao. What about you, Casey? If for the listeners, you are currently in the middle of thinking of leaving, um, my first advice for, for those who are experiencing that is talk to your immediate supervisor, talk to your leader, um, speaking from experience, that's where I benefited the most. I wouldn't be in this position if I didn't have that courage to inform my immediate supervisor that this is how I feel. Um, it matters. Your feelings are valid. It's just a matter of discussing it with someone who's been there um, so that they can guide you with the right decision. It, You know, because you can't, Specific to your career, people of leadership will always help you decide what's best for you mm. and what's best for your career. So I guess the key here is open communication. Communicate what you feel and, of course, listen to the feedback. Mm -hmm. um, and then just, you know, um, use that to make the right decision. So there. Thank you so much, Casey. So Mao and Casey's answers, go back to your deepest whys and then have open communication with those around you, especially your leaders, and be ready to receive constructive feedback as well yes. because they'll always have the best for you in mind. Thank you so much, Casey and Mao, for sharing your thoughts around our topic for today. For our listeners and viewers, I hope we have been able to help you if you're going through this situation. Now, if you aren't a part of the BPO industry yet or a part of VXI, and if you're ready for something better, head on over to our official pages on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and TikTok to know more about the many career opportunities we have here. Remember, it's down there, VXIPH. Once again, VXIPH. Once you've found the perfect vacancy for you, you can send in your resume at careersph at VXI.com. 
Candidates.com. Candidates with or without BPO experience are very much welcome to apply, provided they are a graduate of at least high school old curriculum or senior high school with good English communication skills. That is it for our last episode for season two. Yes, it is our last for now. Don't worry, though. We will be back with more insightful discussions and equally engaging guests for the next season of VXI Conversations. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey, and we're glad to know that you've stuck around up to this very point. This is your host, Jamie Fournier, signing off for now till the next ones. Take care and stay safe, everybody. Bye, Mao. Bye, Casey. Bye, everybody. Bye.